Hey guys, welcome back to my channel AHL Creative World. This video is all about DIY. So this beautiful DIY I have uh, made using wood and uh, this is a welcome board sign which you can very well make yourself and I have given the traditional and Indian look for this name board. So as you can see the design itself is uh, it gives a very positivity and uh, brings in a lot of uh, nice look. So the Omkara is uh, such a powerful thing. You can keep it in front of the door, isn't it? So let's uh, get into this video on how I made and what and where I purchased this wood. So I have uh, shopped the uh, wooden frame or wooden plank areas in like Lowe's. Uh, so you can very well get this wooden plank uh, in Lowe's or Home Depot. So I have uh, finally purchased this uh, according to the size what I need. I am using spray paint to paint this wooden plank so you do not need any gesso or anything uh, so if you do not have a spray paint I would suggest you to use uh, gesso as a primer coat uh, like uh, in the white color and then add any of the color of your choice so if your walls are in light color I would prefer uh, a darker shade so it's all up to you whatever the shade you want I've got like this sage green so I've given two nice coats and after once it's all dried up then you can very well start painting or uh, sketching up uh, on whatever the design you have in your mind so i have got all these uh, printouts so if you have a printer at home or you can just get it from outside as well you can take a printout and using a carbon copy uh, you can just uh, mark with the pencil as I'm showing here so once you draw everything with the pencil uh, you can see the light marks and if you are uh, seeing even after painting you can erase it with the eraser as well so I'm using the paint brush and a chalk paint uh, for painting if you do not have chalk paint uh, that's okay you can very well do it with the arsenic painter or arsenic paints as well so if you're not so good at painting uh, I would suggest you to directly use the arsenic paint pen instead of uh, this brush so even i'm not an expert in painting uh, so i did uh, a mistake a little bit uh, is what i felt so i would be covering what mistakes i have done in this video so that it you can avoid it and uh, you can get a much cleaner look is what i can say so once uh, you add everything with a paintbrush uh, so for finishing i'm using this acrylic paint pen so very well you can use only the acrylic paint pen or uh, if you are good at uh, painting with the pressures uh, you can completely use the brush so just uh, finish nicely with the touch of the paint pen this will be this will give a nice clean look and it will be easy as well so once you transfer this lotus and this is how it looked and uh, for namaste i have used a different font from the original sheet so it's all up to you and the creativity or uh, the fonts you want to make so this is how i uh, wrote namaste using a acrylic paint pen And now coming to welcome sign, I have used again the carbon copy paper and uh, transferred everything uh, and once I uh, sketched everything down, uh, then using a acrylic paint pen, I have wrote everything down here. So I just wrote only welcome to our, not home. So instead of home, I'm using the another different uh, printout I'm showing here. Again, using a carbon copy uh, paper, uh, will transfer it. And for home, instead of OM, I'm using this Omkara sign. So it's all up to you if you want to use the same way or you want to use like H-O-M-E, which is home. So uh, I wanted like a more Indian style as well as Omkara to be, uh, you know, a front of the porch that gives a nice look and uh, you know it's a different creativity as well so uh, once you have done all the painting i felt like on top and bottom it was uh, like kind of empty so i have used uh, strencils here a bit so i tried to start painting with a dabber and a chalk paint by sticking this uh, you know uh, like masking tape uh, and i have used uh, this in my earlier video also and i've uh, given lot of details on the earlier vid video on how to make or uh, 
or a wooden frame or tray painting so if you haven't watched that video i would leave a comment in the description and also i felt after painting this on the top it was more clumsy so i had to repaint everything So uh, light marks were showing up and then I have given the same uh, line in the bottom so bottom it was giving a nice look than on top and also I'm, I have used different uh, flower designs as shown here so this is what I like so I have used a uh, similar uh, flower design on both the sides so using again the dabber and uh, uh, chalk paint and just uh, adding the color so whenever you use dabber make sure you are not using a lot of paint just a uh, little bit of uh, paint should be good enough so once you have uh, painted one side to paint other side it was not matching it should be like you know downside so i had to you know remove everything using a wet tissue paper so that the paint is gone and then again flip it onto the back side and uh, put the design such a way that it is uh, showing in parallel on both left and right as uh, i'm showing here so this is my final look and it is all done now so now the next step is to seal this painting so for uh, sealing we'll be using mod podge so it's a good sealer and also it gives a little bit of shine as well so i have used this black uh, sponge brush but always use a paint brush instead of this black uh, sponge brush the reason behind uh, not using the sponge brushes uh, especially the black one is it is uh, leaving a little bit of uh, sponge on uh, the frame so it's giving light uh, dots black dots is remained on that wooden frame and i had to remove it again so which is kind of a rework so do not use that black sponge brush and uh, the final thing once the mod podge is dried up completely maybe the next day you can very well uh, give a nice uh, coating of this clear glaze or uh, varnish so prefer to use the uh, deco art varnish that gives a nice uh, shine and uh, look than the clear glaze for this wooden frame so i hope i have given all the details tips and how to make this beautiful uh, welcome board sign for your porch area and this gives a very traditional and indian look as well and if you have liked this video please do like share comment and uh, also subscribe to my channel and turn on notification bell as well so let's make our homes more beautiful with the diys and i'll be meeting you all in my next video until then take care bye bye thank you very much for watching